Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, so I've got a few very exciting things to show you today. Uh, two things that I just happened to find uh, at M-Bar Coins. Uh, one thing that I really needed for a collection, the other one, something I never had before. And then I pulled an item from my existing collection to go along with that. And finally, I have a piece that was pulled out of circulation for me today. And it's amazing. I love it. Okay, let's get right to it. First off, my first item from M-Bar Coins on eBay is this 1927 Denver Mercury Dime. I decided they have a lot of sing single dimes, uh, set breaks, things like that, uh, up for sale there. So I decided to start watching an auction here or there and seeing if I can't get some of the dimes that I'm missing at a decent price. I'm missing, here's my first page. See the ones I'm missing there. And I'm missing three on my second page, one of which is the 1927D. So I'm going to put that in there right now. There we go. 1927D in place. Okay. Very exciting. One dime closer to completing that set. Perfect. Now this, the other thing from M-Bar Coins, not something that I collect usually, but uh, I was intrigued, and yeah, I thought I'd get it after I saw that I could get it for a decent price. I was not prepared for the size of it. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. This is a Confederate States of America, it's basically a, a bond. So this says that uh, the government of the Confederate States of America will pay $40 on a loan of $1,000 in 1872. Now, you don't have to be a history buff to know that there was no government of the Confederate States in 1872, so these bonds never came to fruition. And consequently, there was a lot of Confederate gold that went missing after the war. Who knows what happened to that? So this is, a. Uh, it is signed by the treasurer the Register of the Treasurer for the Confederate States Government. It's a very fascinating piece of history, and it is authentic. And just the color of the faded ink and the handwriting, it's just a pretty cool little piece of history there. And as I said, I pulled something out of my existing collection to go along with that. But what I have here is an eight, 1863 store token. The reverse says our card. There were a lot of provisionary tokens that were used during the Civil War, like stores would have their own money. So this is a, a store token, 1863, what does that say at the top? This is a store token. At the top it says Union. The bottom, 1863, a couple years before the end. Our card. So that is a Civil War token. There we go. So now I have one piece from the Union, one from the Confederacy. Finally, my wife sent me a text just today, and she said, hey, I found this in the drawer at work. Would you like this bill? And so I ended up getting this. Looks old, right? Nice. What it is is a 1934A series $20 bill, but it's a star note. It is 
it is kind of crisp, this bill. Um, amazing shape for what it is. And I was not able to find a place where I could look up this specific serial number as I normally do with star notes. The places I normally use don't go back that far, but, but I did find a generalized estimate as to its worth. And it said that 1934A series, $20 star notes, in very good condition, are worth roughly 50 bucks. And it goes up from there. I don't know much about currency grading. Currency's not really my thing. I've got a few cool pieces that I like, and this is definitely among those now. I mean, there are no tears. Uh, the corners are all complete. No staining. I think it's in great shape. So that was a great find. Thank you so much, Mrs. Pennyhaven. Really appreciate that. Okay. Which reminds me, I gotta PayPal you $20 for that $20 bill. Anyhow, time to get on out of here. I know this was a quick one. Um, you know, I haven't been putting out much in the way of videos lately, but I figured I could put this together real quick and get something out there to you because I miss you guys. Speaking of, this past Saturday, I did like an hour stream, which I have not done in months. And that was fun. A few people stopped by. Uh, yeah, we had a great time hanging out. And of course, like right at the very end, it was it was really going, you know, lots of conversation happening and whatnot that I needed to get going. And it turned out that my son woke up like right as I was signing off. So I was clicked in out of there, get him back to bed. All right, time to get on out. One of my, uh, one of my channel members was there, Frank P, and he got to show off his customized emojis that he gets to use in chat as part of channel membership. So that was kind of fun. All right, time for me to get on out of here. Oh, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. So I have a couple of people who uh, stayed over there at Patreon. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm going to get on out of here. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.